Hi, I'm Daniel, and after a brief hiatus, welcome back to the news. Can you smell what WWE and Sony are cooking? For the first time, the WWE Network app has become available in the UK, and an app has appeared on UK PS4s with full access to the streaming service. Although already available on the Xbox, it was not possible to legitimately use it until a couple of days ago, but everything is up and running now. Previously, the service was only available in the US, but the app has been made available on multiple platforms, from phones and tablets to smart TVs and consoles, meaning it's easier than ever to look at John Cena's face. The service is a subscription one, costing $9.99 a month, but it's not a fixed-term contract and can be cancelled at any time. The move comes just in time for the upcoming Royal Rumble event on January 25th, which streams for no extra cost on the service. Holy hopping heck! That's Triple H. Uh, to celebrate the January 30th release of its game Dying Light, developer Techland has released 3D printing files for a zombie character from the game. If you own a 3D printer, just download the zip file from their site and load it into your printer's software. The company even provides tips on painting the model for the best look, but it would be interesting to see what designs and palettes others come up with. The developers have also recently unleashed a viral marketing site that acts as a prequel to the game. Disguised as a website for the town in which the game takes place, it takes the web surfer on a little prequel journey, where the website is hacked and more of the tale revealed. The link for both sites is down in the booty below, so head on over and get printing and discovering. Turn your heads to the Titantron. Two new videos have been released of the upcoming Majora's Mask, showcasing some new visuals and a little gameplay too. It looks like new models and textures have been added to the game and the 3DS touchscreen is being used to display a map, but it's exciting either way. The game is set for a February 13th release along with the new 3DS line, but that's not all. EU fans will also be afforded the opportunity to purchase a limited edition 3DS XL, a beautiful console featuring the game's titular mask on its top. Though most fans remember Ocarina of Time, it's a few less that played Majora's Mask on its original release. The gameplay varies from o Ocarina of Time, with a higher focus on minigames and the sometimes confusing time-altering features, but those who did play tended to love it. Perhaps minigames will prove an asset on the smaller console, but it's exciting to see this classic rebooted as it was a favourite of mine from my own childhood. Look out, it's time for some sweet Twitch music. Streaming service Twitch has recently acquired the rights to a library of 500 songs. Previously, commercial music was banned from the service, but the company has purchased the licenses to a few songs to make your streaming even more you. While 500 isn't a huge number at the moment, you can be sure Twitch will continue its acquisition of music to improve the service and satisfy streamers. Record labels in the list of licenses include Skrillex's OWSLA, Dim Mac, Monster Cat and Spinning Records. So if you thought this week's stream of democracy was sorely missing dubstep noises, have no fear, Skrillex is here. Perhaps Twitch are looking to expand their library with or to the size of a service such as Spotify, as this would be most beneficial for users. But in the meantime, have a look through the track list and see what goes with the GTA 5 murder spree. DLC plans have left some fans feeling a little raw. Fans are unsatisfied with Evolve developer Turtle Rock's DLC strategy, taking to the web to complain of a confusing array of options and a bad layout for the information. On the game's fan forum, Turtle Rock co-founder Phil Robb tried to explain some of the decisions. If we thought we could have finished all the monsters and hunters for ship, we would have put them in the box. Hunters and monsters are a pretty big undertaking. They cost a lot of money and time to make. We're hoping that once people see how much new hunters and monsters bring to the game, that they'll feel like they got their money's worth. Rob also went on to discuss the philosophy behind the DLC. So we worked it out so that any DLC maps are free, any new game modes are free. Then, recognising that not everyone wants to buy DLC, we made sure that even if you didn't purchase any of the paid content, you could still play with people who did. So if I buy a new monster or hunter and you don't, we can still play together. It has also been stated that the hunters will not be overpowered, so players won't feel cheated when others purchase DLC hunters. That's all we have time for this week. Do you have a 3D printer and how will you be painting your free statuette? 
Are you a fan of Majora's Mask and are you looking forward to the 3DS version? And what do you feel about Evolve's DLC plans? Don't forget to tickle and click the unicorn to subscribe. If you missed our last video, you can catch it here. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's all, see you next time.